All right. Collar's dry. We'll pull the pins out. As you can see, it's held its shape now. Now at this point, since we have the crease set in there, what we're going to want to do is cut a little stand to put in here. So, we'll get another piece of canvas here. Now, this piece of canvas that goes in there should not should not be cut on the bias. So it's usually ah, sorry. Usually about three inches, total of about six inches overall. So go ahead and center and then we'll measure off three inches on each side there all right we know how long it's supposed to be Looking at about an inch and a quarter on the stand there. And I gotta get a curve. It's called a French curve. And then we can cut this out. This just gives a little more uh, rigid part of the collar in the back. There. That was garbage. this up in the center here like that and then we'll put a few pins in it here actually before I do that no, I'll go ahead and put a few pins in it try to match it up here And when we get done here, we will pad stitch this into the collar that's that we've got now. <laughs> 